we can do altitude training in two basic scenarios. So one is we reside up the mountain and the other one is actually to use altitude tents or altitude rooms, etc., where we normally utilize reduction in the fraction of inspired oxygen as opposed to reduction in pressure. So instead of reducing the pressure, we reduce the fraction of inspired oxygen to gauge or to target the same partial pressure of oxygen in, in the air. Uh, and there's been a lot of work done on the comparing these two, two models of hypoxia. A uh, short answer could be that altitude tents or altitude rooms can really be useful for altitude adaptation. There is some evidence to suggest that the impulse is a bit lower at the same partial pressure of oxygen because the ambient pressure plays a bit of a role. But from an applied side of things, I believe strongly that you can easily induce similar effects using the normal barrack, so-called. So that means the simulated hypoxia. Uh, and it has uh, uh, some very good advantages, in particular that if you have a team of athletes going to high altitude, they're all exposed to same altitude. Yeah? And for some, it might be a bit high, for some, it might be a bit low. And when you utilize normal barrack hypoxia or altitude rooms, you can adjust the actual altitudes within the rooms so you can play a bit more, adapt or change it over time. So it's, it's really more, more individualized. 